What is Facebook marketing? How do you leverage Facebook for your business? What are the things that you need to do on the Facebook page to start getting traction? How do you get those quick likes and follows in the beginning? What are Facebook insights? What is Facebook business suite? If you have any of these questions, then you've come to the right place. My name is Fritz and I create educational content for learners like you. Without much further ado, let us begin. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in on the Facebook marketing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to share with you everything that is important for you to know in 2021 to dominate Facebook marketing. As you already must have seen my videos or if this is the first time you're here, I'm an entrepreneur and I help you with free online learning in sales and marketing. As you would already know if you have seen my videos, this channel is your best resource for everything related to sales and marketing. I have recently started few social media handles on Facebook, Instagram as well as Twitter. Please have a look at those and do subscribe and like and follow these channels for more information on my courses and tips and tricks that will help you to elevate your business. Some important stats on Facebook marketing as of 2021 will help you understand why you should go for Facebook marketing in the first place. You see, as of 2021, there are 2.74 billion monthly active users on the platform. That is a massive number, guys, given the fact that there are around 4.13 billion active cell phone users, internet users in the world, out of which 2.74 use Facebook is a massive reach and you want to make sure that you tap into this social media. Of all the social media users in the world, 60% of them come from Facebook alone and that is a massive reach which should actually make you jump right now out of the bed and create your Facebook marketing strategy. Well, another important and a fun fact is that Facebook is almost becoming an adult. They started in the year 2004 and in 2021, Facebook is 17 years old, about to enter adulthood, about to enter maturity. And you do not want to miss out on this opportunity on one of the biggest social media platforms out there. Another important stat, there are around 500 million Facebook stories played every day with such amplified reach and such deep reach into every market of the world you want to make sure that you also tap into these sub little products like facebook stories reels feed posts etc and reach out to your target audience if you look at the data from 2020 social media platforms used by marketers last year facebook dominates this chart Facebook has over 95%, Instagram has over 76%. So you see between these two channels and for those who do not know that Instagram is also a part of Facebook, which gives Facebook an upper hand given the fact that the top two channels are preferred by marketers worldwide. There is one platform we have not spoken about here is WhatsApp. And if you had to really put in WhatsApp in perspective, then Facebook, Instagram, as well as WhatsApp, which also belongs to Facebook, has a massive reach, all three of them. So now begins the fun part. I want to show you how you set up your Facebook page for business so that you can start tapping in those potential customers. So let's go. As you log into Facebook, you will see a few tabs on top. One of the toggle tabs is pages, Quickly click on that pages tab and you'll be able to see all the pages that you manage. I have created Crazy Fries New York for you for this tutorial. We will work on that in a moment. But for now, you'll be able to see all the activities of your pages on the left hand side. You'll also be able to create new page with this button. So once you click on that button, you will be taken to something like this where you fill in all the information. You start off with three key important aspects of the page. You select a page name which is required. Use the name of your business, brand or organization or a name that explains what the page is about. In terms of categories, you are able to select up to three categories and make sure that the categories resonate with what you're doing with the page. And hence you see here, choose a category that describes what your business, organization or topic the page represents. And then you have a small little box where you can add information about what your business 
is all about. Once you fill all these three pieces of information and click on create page, once you click on create page, you will be brought into this page where the page has already been created and I've already filled in certain information which I will go through with you one by one. So what we will do in the beginning is that you see, you will notice there is no cover or banner, Facebook banner, and then there is no Facebook logo for our page. The first thing we'll do is add a logo, edit profile picture, yes. And then we will say upload photo and then go to Facebook marketing and you see here Fry's page logo, which is where we will click the button after we select the picture. It takes a moment. What you can do is you can adjust how you want the picture to look like and then simply say save. Mind you, on your Facebook page, your profile picture will always be public. You won't be able to change it to private. Great. So now we have our Crazy Fries New York page picture, which looks good. What we do next is we create our Facebook cover. You can use the edit button and you have three options. Choose from photos create slideshow or upload photo. For the sake of teaching you a bit more about how you can create this particular photo or cover for your Facebook page, we will go on to Canva. Canva is again a very hands-on creative graphic design tool that helps you with all the important work that you need to do without having much knowledge of graphic design. So once you go on to Canva and type in Facebook covers, you'll be able to see a lot of these pre-set templates from where you can choose one from. And if you think that your business does not resonate with all the options presented here, you can always go here and then select create a blank Facebook cover. Do note that this page has both free and pro options from here. And hence you make sure that you select a template, which is where you're not paying anything for that template. Let me show you some of the examples. Look at, look at this king logo once you click on that or once you just hover your mouse over it you'll be able to see pro that means you have to pay for this premium product right so what we will do now is we will for the sake of this tutorial i will create a blank facebook cover just to show you as to how you can take this forward great so once you open this page you'll see a blank canvas on which what you can do is either you can pre-populate it using the available templates or maybe you can start from scratch. What we will do is we will simply use a template which I had recently used elsewhere for another tutorial. In this case, we will say we will change this to fries. And we want to make sure that we align it in a way that looks good. So there you are. We have fries, crazy fries. And then you also want to maybe change this picture. And in that case, we will go to uploads and we can say, we can simply drag and drop this picture from here. And that shows us a whole new branding of our, of our cover. Great, so what we do next is we hit the download button, which will help us to use this picture elsewhere away from Canva. I suggest you use PNG option, which is your high quality image, which is also suggested by Canva here, and then simply click on download. It takes a moment for the image to download. And once it's done, you have the option to go to home or continue editing. We'll just cancel this out for the moment. And then we will open this picture here and see how it looks like. Perfect. So now what we can do is we can save as pictures and I will also go to Facebook marketing and then I will save it here. Fries.png. We just rename it Fries Facebook cover. Okay, so my file is ready. What we can do next is that we go to a Facebook page and click on the edit button and use the upload photo option. We select this picture, which we recently had downloaded from Canva. 
and then we select open. Mind you, this is also a PNG file, so it takes a moment for the image to load. What you can do next is, as it says, drag to reposition. Just make sure that the image shows the parts of those areas which are important for you to display to your audience. So in our case, we want to make sure that this area, fries, crazy fries, New York features and people are able to see. So we'll just select this for the moment like this and we will say save changes. And you see our cover is ready. Fries, crazy fries, New York with a good picture in the background. We also have our logo in place. There's one thing I want to highlight here is this username. You won't be able to, if you click here, you won't be able to add a username right away because you've just created this page. Let me show you why it will not work. For example, let's say I type in crazy fries, New York City, and I see this option is not enabled here. Even if I hit enter, it won't work. The reason being because I'm not allowed to create a Facebook page username at this point in time. There are certain reasons why I'm not allowed to do this is let me just show you some of the tips, cause of error and solution. You see here, the fan page must already have at least 25 likes. You must not have created more than one fan page lately. Your personal Facebook account needs to be verified. Your personal profile must not newly be created. For your personal Facebook account, a username must be defined. So if you're meeting all of these criteria, you should be able to have a Facebook page username. But for now, I will suggest that you leave it like that. One of the tips that I would like to give you here is that as you scroll down, there are certain steps that Facebook will tell you and show you that you need to go through to set up your page. You see here, set your page up for success. Finish setting up your page so people on Facebook know that you are a credible business. So we have completed five of 15 steps. There are still certain steps to go. So for example, we already have a page name, category, profile picture, cover photo, and a description. In terms of description, I had already added. So if you scroll down, you will be able to see the description in the about section of the page. You want to make sure that you create a very engaging description so that people want to come and visit your page. Or maybe if you have a local shop, they would also want to check out your local shop too. There's also enter location option. Just simply go on to address city postcode and you will be able to locate exactly where you are on the map. If this does not apply to your page, if you do not have a physical location or if you do not want your customers to visit you physically, then you can always select my page it does not have a location. In our case, it does. So you can definitely fill these options and click on the X button and it will show here somewhere in the first place. Let us now see what are the other things that we should edit. The easiest way to do that is click on the edit page info button, which opens up a lot of fields for us to work on. Categories, we have already said food and drink, fast food restaurant and restaurant, and which is what you also see on the profile. The next thing what you want to do is add a contact. You can also select a contact or you can say my page doesn't have a phone number. You can, If you click on this radio button, it automatically saves changes and you do not have to fill in that detail. Also, you can add in a WhatsApp number so that people can reach out to you on WhatsApp if they want to make bookings for your restaurant. Email address, make sure that you enter an email address here. Try to fill in all of this information as much as possible along with a website and then go on to the next tab location as we have already spoken about these are the areas you need to fill and then you can also add in hours in terms of how many hours on which day your restaurant is open open during selected hours if you select that then you have to fill in details from monday to sunday with the opening and closing hours there are certain stores for example pharmacy stores they have this option where you want to make sure that your store is always open physically as well as otherwise. So you click on always open option. In case you are a consulting firm 
or your individual freelancer then maybe you can select no as available or you can say it's not applicable to you once you click on the more option you put in your privacy policy and impress them impress them is an optional field basically what it means is that in certain countries such as austria germany and switzerland businesses may be required by law to include a statement of ownership of their web presence the limit is 2000 characters so this may not apply to you if you are in a country outside of this regulation next you go and fill in the details about your products this is an optional field list the products that your business offers here again with a limit of 2000 characters additional inf information always goes here and what kind of pricing your restaurant has you could be saying it, it is cheap moderate expensive splurge or you do not want to specify maybe you want people to come and see your menu and then decide for themselves in our case we have said unspecified for now and then we will go and click on the x button and then we should have all those details here mind you guys there's an option to add a physical menu here take a picture of your physical menu and add it here so that people can peruse your options in terms of what all you're selling in your restaurant another thing that i want to show you here is that you can always add a button here in terms of what you want the customers or the visitors to do when they visit your page so there are different ways how you can interact with your audience the first one is follow make it easy for people to follow your page if you are a consulting firm you want to do that maybe so in our case we are a restaurant we can also say start order where people can choose a website where people can order your food or you can say choose where people can book with you so all of these options are here i would say call now for now and then put in the number here and once you do that and click on save it should be visible on on this here another important feature i want to share with you here is the menu option which is separately given to you especially for restaurants so in our case it becomes important to highlight a separate page that gives our menu information there let customers know whether you offer pickup or delivery so all of those things you can do with this particular tab and then you move on to offers where you put in offer a discount to your customers for example you might have a certain discount on a certain week on your fries or maybe certain drinks which you can add here another important tab here is reviews you want to make sure that you are getting higher reviews on your facebook page if you see that you are getting negative or poor reviews you want to address those reviews asap reach out to those customers make sure that you respond to them on time make sure that you take care of those customers and make sure that they stick with you or come back or simply just say sorry that you were not able to meet up with the expectation and you can also click on this more tab which gives you all the information about what you can do with your page all the photos that you have uploaded will go here videos will go here all the different events that you can create on your facebook page about a specific event in your restaurant will go here your about us page community jobs and you can also even edit tabs in terms of how you want your page to look like again if you click on this little flag here you will be able to see how you are interacting on this page so there are two options really once you since i have created this page my profile is also here so i can either interact with this page as my personal profile or maybe as the facebook page itself in our case we will deal with not the personal profile but the page profile so if we post or comment and react it will happen through our personal page it will not happen through our personal page but through our facebook page there is another option here which you can use is the promote option you can promote your facebook page with an ad however i suggest you do not do that as soon as you create a page because you want to first create some content you want to first create some engagement and then maybe if you promote your page it makes sense because once people come to your page and if there's nothing they can see if there's nothing of value then the engagement rates will really drop and you will also end up spending your money with a zero roi so guys that's about it in terms of this video i really hope you found it insightful and valuable i hope you're able to take some actionable steps towards your facebook marketing strategy in 2021 
I also hope that you're able to start creating a Facebook page if you have not done so so far and also be able to implement the strategy and tips and tricks I shared with you in this video. At this point in time, I'm going to ask you to do one of the best things you have ever done on YouTube so far. I'm kidding. Give it a thumbs up, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and share this video with as many people as possible so that it reaches out to more people and is more helpful as this video is for free for people like you to learn and start implement all of these tactics right away. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, adios.